So I really don't know why I've had such a difficult time recording this video. So after many, many takes, I'm just going to try to get through it once and for all, quick and sweet. Instead of doing what I had initially scheduled, I thought I would just kind of throw away the script and just do a slight video, a vlog about an artist who inspired me, a fellow photographer that I truly admired. And I was very saddened this week when I found out that we lost an amazing master of photography earlier this month. For me, for me it was very, very difficult not because I knew the man personally, but I was so drawn to his work when I first started doing photography in the 90s. As I started exploring this art of photography, there were a handful of photographers that I really found to be masters and who truly inspired me for black and white photography, because that's where I started. I was doing my own film and developing, so I try to find masters and talent that came before me that I could learn from and hone my skills from. And what stood out to me most about Peter Lindbergh was not obviously his beautiful imagery in black and white, his, t his style, his technique, but his ability to tell a story in one frame, one image. For me at the time, not only was I first exploring photography, but I was also modeling as well. And I remember going through fashion magazine after fashion magazine, and what I always saw through the pages was models who were stylized, who had every hair in place, every, you know, flaw taken away in these magnificent clothing and and just posing. And what really stood out for me as an artist at the time, in an industry that everything just seemed a little superficial, he went deeper with his photography, his fashion and portraiture. He managed to just capture people for who they were, to capture their inner beauty. He wasn't concerned with the outer beauty because when you look at all his work, the models or subjects were never styled or appeared to be styled. Um, he was more concerned about bringing them out of themselves so he could capture that on film. Many times, I mean, his subjects looked like they had just come out of bed. Their hair was out of place. Most of the time, they weren't wearing a lick of makeup. There wasn't you know, emphasis on what they were wearing. It was them. It was him and them and the camera. And he managed to capture so many stories, so many personalities, so, so perfectly that it caught my eye. And still to this day, I try to emulate that in my photography. So I say all this and I do this little humble, tribute in honor of the late great Peter Lindbergh so I'm really sorry to be such a downer but I just had to take time to honor such a great man and a master of photography and just remember him and what inspiration he gave me as a young photographer and still till and still today so thank you so much for taking time to watch this. If you watched it this far, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and include some of his work, but I really advise that you would go to his website and to his Instagram. Just Google Peter Lindbergh and just see what a great, masterful artist this man was. And I hope you get inspired and moved as I did and still do. <laughs> I'm sorry if this was a bit of a downer unexpected, but um, I just had to do it. So I hope you appreciate it. I hope you learned something. I know I didn't cover much about who this man was. I intended to do so in the beginning, but 
I couldn't. I just obviously couldn't. So please just enjoy the rest of this video as I just kind of splash this with a few of his wonderful work that moved me that I really truly appreciate. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.